What's going on guys, smarthelping.com here. This is an update to the inventory management sheet and really it's a completely separate uh, template and it's not designed to be backwards compatible with the other one. It is completely separate but if you buy either one of these it's $45 one time. They both come for the price of one so it's just 45 bucks you get either one of them or both of them, it doesn't matter. Uh, so the problem that this solves is if you have inventory at multiple locations. For example, you have a warehouse with inventory. You have five other uh, sub locations and you move stuff from your inventory to those locations and back to your warehouse and uh, you know all around. So you need to track that and you need to report on that. So I've built this structure and I did it as a client request but it turns out I had a couple more clients request this so I'm like alright I'm just gonna make it part of the inventory template so it is um, I've designed it just to be as simple enough to work but it's it has enough in it so that it's actually helpful um, in general we have the input card let me clear this out so when I start putting numbers in here we could see from the start we have a dynamic summary it allows you to pick the SKU and it shows the top um, 10 sites of that where that SKU is so say if you have five here and three here etc um, it will track that and then this is kinda like the raw data it, it will update when you update this and you can see I cleared out this so it should be blank and yep now it's blank um, then we had a summary by SKU, so this lists every single job site you have. Right now I've done up to 499 uh, locations. You might just need like 25 or 10 or 15 or whatever. If you don't need it, just don't put any information or you don't have to worry about it. It doesn't matter. Uh, and what this will do is you can pick each SKU and it will tell you where that SKU is at across all these job sites and it basically it's the same thing as this but instead of doing top 10 it will show everything at once the next is the inventory by job site so now this actually lists every single job site and or I mean sorry it lists every single SKU and then I went over 21 job sites so at one time you can see you know how much is SKU ones at this place, this place, or this place, or this place. How much is SKU twos at the warehouse? How much is SKU twos at this job site? And it will all populate at one time and give you a nice overview so you can see what you got where. Also, I'm going to add this filter onto here so that you can easily, with the filter, you can just pick what stock numbers you want to see. Say I want to see 101 and 10, and that's it. Well, then it'll just show me 10 and 101 and the corresponding values. So the only thing you cannot do with the filter is you can't sort A to Z or Z to A. That will mess up all the formulas. But you can sort so that you just see certain things. You just cannot have a sort that reorders um, this because everything will get messed up. So don't do that. Um, what's this? Job site by month? by month so this shows you based on your start month uh, in job site it shows you what has moved in and out of that job site so you could pick the warehouse and say well in July it net had this many leave in uh, August had this many come or leave which it'll be plus or minus and you could pick any job site and it will show you by SKU what has moved in and out of that place and again this we can also do the same filter, so I'll put that on there. And again, you can filter to show only certain SKUs, but you cannot reorder them by alphabet. So my advice is, when you actually enter the SKUs in the validation, this is you just got to enter them one time here. Put them in the order you want to see them in the rest of the model and you could put this in whatever order you want uh... it doesn't sort or anything just manually enter it uh... in the order you want uh... you put item names here as well and you can define your highs and lows here and this will show up on the input card so based on the the location you choose in the SKU it will tell you if you 
well first of all it'll populate what the high and low is and then if it's below the low it'll turn red and that's this, what this functionality is here and that's where you define it uh, so job site and I guess that's it and then this is the database so let's get how the get to the functionality um, so in general every time you move something from one location to the other you have to do two entries and there's no way around it you got to do two entries if you're just buying something and it's going to a location so say you're buying something from your per your supplier and you're sending it directly to a location well in that case you would just enter the location's name it's going to and the amount etc and just go there that's the only time you wouldn't put two but then anytime it's moving from your warehouse to somewhere else or somewhere else to another place or just from one location to the next that you need to track you have to put two entries so let's go over that now uh, okay so I'm gonna say skew three uh, today's date you just do control colon there and it'll put today's automatic date um, let's say I got uh, six of skew three and I'm adding it I've bought it bought it for the warehouse location sorry this is a location this is I'm putting a spot on shelf this is probably not necessary but it might be if you want to track um, by SKU where it's at um, in the warehouse but that's really not relevant As some people want to do that it's not super important this is the main you know location job site is all you want to pay attention to so let's assume we've bought a uh, SKU 3 we bought six of them for five thousand dollars a unit and we're putting it into the warehouse now it's gonna say <clears throat> right now there's none of those anywhere so it's gonna show zero here for the current um, I don't put this this is uh, current on hand Foreman's not important item name auto populates based on the validation definition right there this whatever you put in here will pop up for the SKU. So we got uh, P3. We got six of them and we're shipping them right to the warehouse. We just bought them. It's not going anywhere else so we don't have to worry about a secondary transaction. So we just hit the enter button here. And we now see after hitting that enter button the state of SKU 3 at the warehouse. You now got six. It's above the low mark so that turns gray. You can see if we put the low at, for skew 3 at say 10, it's going to turn back to red because 6 is lower than 10. But that's how that functionality works. Okay, so now we got, uh, if you look at the dynamic summary, skew 3 update, you can see, oh, now we got 6 of that skew at this warehouse. Um, skew 3 populates there. And then you can see just on the the hard coded version, we can see the warehouse has six to skew three, and we could filter this just to show. Uh, let's type it in, skew three. There it is. And sh that will just show that one if I don't want to scroll down. Uh, and then job site shows September 6 has moved in. And we can make this a little bit bigger. We'll do 18. That way you can see the month. So you had SKU 3 6 in the warehouse. If we pick something else, it's just going to be blank if there's nothing else there. Okay, so next. Uh, let's say the next transaction. So now we have uh, SKU 3. We've got 6 at the warehouse. We know that. So let's say we want to put 3 to job site 2. Well, you keep the same SKU, obviously, if it's the same date. Same date if it's not the same date. Pick a different date. Let's say this is on the October, the next month. Uh, and you're going to put 3... 
you're moving three out of the warehouse. So we'll put minus three. Oh, minus. Why isn't that going? Uh, minus three. I hate when that happens. Okay, and out of the warehouse. So it's removing three from the warehouse. And then we're adding three. Where are we going to put it? To, so we change that to positive three for where it's going. And we go to job site two and hit enter. Now if we go back to our summaries, you can see job site. Oh, this needs to be wider too. go. So job site 2 has 3 of SKU 3 and warehouse has 3 because I've added 6 but then I took 3 out of the warehouse and put 3 into here. So now, now look I can track and see where this SKU is. Um, job site you see now the warehouse had 6 come into September 3 left in October. If we go to job site where I put it job site 2 yeah there's 3 that came in for SKU 3 uh and then skew three if we update this now we can see there's three at the warehouse and three at job site two for individual reporting and i guess that's all the functionality that there is and that's all you need to track inventory movements uh in between different locations and there's this input card um let's say i mean in general if you're going to put your starting inventory amounts, you know, you go around to all your locations and figure out how much is there, you would just pick an arbitrary date. You could pick the first day of the year. It doesn't matter. Um, let me see. You just have to update this date um, because this will just show from this date forward. So you pick a date. Uh, and then you just enter at, for every location. Every time you're entering a SKU, you just put in the positive amount and any unit pricing that's applicable and the location. And then just hit enter, and it will start adding that many to all the places. And then when you start moving them around, every time you move something from one to the other, you would have to do two entries. One that reduces inventory from one spot, and then an entry that adds it to another. And then you get this nice structured database. That's what is being queried in order to form these uh, consolidated summaries. So you can control everything from right here on the input card, uh, just like I just explained. And it's a pretty, you know, it's it's the simplest but most uh, effective and useful inventory management tool in Excel. Uh, I think that there is, and it's only. I mean, I'm only charging forty-five dollars one-time fee. I think that's really um, a good price for what this does. All right, well, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys on the next model. This is smarthelping.com.